Hello everybody, welcome back to Language Litigation Integration Part 145. Jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams, because it doesn't. I don't know, John, pulling points looked up. Again, it's my, it's my favorite American holiday, 9-11. It's the day that we all lie about how the fuck 3,000 American citizens were murdered by our own government. So, again, shout out to George Bush. If you want to whack me, dude, please. I wish I was fucking dead and fuck Americans. The only point of my life is to record history as much as I fucking can so the future knows what the fuck has occurred here. And I'm still being fucking tortured. Just again, in, in my most professional, sitting down to jerk off. Again, I'm never getting a girlfriend. That would never happen. So it's so, getting ready for Brad's special time. And I got a new text message from my, uh, from my restaurant partner. It says, in light of our last conversation, is it too much to ask for a 5K boost to help get through these last, these past couple weeks that have been crap? No. Not doing numbers and saying you know what you're doing is nonsense. This investment has been nothing but a headache. In my 29th, my birthday was September 10th, so that's, again, that's the second, that, that's the worst day in my fucking life ever. I was born. I was put into a world where people do not know how to behave, they do not raise their fucking children, and the adults in my community when I was a kid, literally just told their kids to play games and come. And, and, and they failed, now they can't pay their mortgages, they're trashing fucking people. Everybody that I've referenced in any one of these videos, I do not want them to be able to function in society. I don't want them to get jobs, I don't want them to get careers, I don't want them to get clients. Fuck them in the same way they have fucked me. Internet, do your goddamn fucking thing. And so again, just literally sitting down and fucking jerk off, and nobody, at no point in my, in my life, has anybody ever done anything to help me. Nothing. I am either an emotional checkbook or an actual checkbook. I am never a fucking person. Oh yeah, my alcohol partner works so fucking hard. I work every day, all day, with no fucking reward and no way to participate in any function of society. So that's 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 just happened. I didn't even get a jerk off. I got such a direction that I couldn't even wank my wiener because people are just, Brad, give me something. Brad, give me something. No one's ever giving me anything. There's no fucking laws. There's just a bunch of fat fucking trash on this fucking disgusting fucking species. So yeah, I had a birthday lunch with my mom yesterday. It went well. Again, only one comment about money, not even about my money. Again, it's my mom. Again, my mom's on a stipend from her last company and is currently working. So she has two job incomes. She's investment income. She's retirement income. And her parent, her she's good career, good money. But again, she does. She can't get out of the. Her her estate's going to get donated. Like, my mom is a squirrel collecting nuts for the way, which feels good. Efficiency, make money, get paid for it, which I would never do. I, I can't be, I'm not allowed to, I'm a slave. Do not lie about my life. I am a fucking slave. I am forced into fucking slavery. People have neglected my rights and taken my rights so forcibly that I'm a fucking slave. I am forced to work with no fucking rights in poverty under profound fucking duress every day. Yet my alcohol partners work hard, my business partners, my bar and restaurant work hard, everybody else works hard, all these hardworking Americans. And so she just made a good, good, good lunch with my mom, but she just makes, again, I just keep talking about money, and it's like, again, in this motherly way, I'm going to, it's not even a motherly way, she just doesn't know how to manage money. She's in the squirrel collect nuts for winter mode, when again, she's going to, 14% of retirees draw down principal. My dad's retired, my mom isn't. Well, technically my dad's not retired. He does some caddying at the local uh, country club just to do something. So I guess technically not retired, but he's retired. He's not, he doesn't have a job to, like, for the money. <laughs> but I, I, he, he did get a raise. My mom said my dad got a raise at the caddy shop. So <laughs> shout out to my dad for getting a raise. But my point is, as a fucking family, when I sit here, I, I, I don't know how much money my parents have. But certainly they're not, I guarantee you they're not one of the 14% of people drawing down their principal. I don't have constitutional rights. I think about money all fucking day. That's why I make these fucking videos. I'd like to fucking participate into society. Hundreds of thousands of fucking people who know what the fuck I am doing could help me, but they refuse to. In the same way, people, hundreds of thousands of people can, can, can form conspiracies to snuff out scientific research. Do you think they could cause this conspiracy to murder 3,000 American citizens? Do not lie about fucking history. Kill me. Torture me. Do not lie about history. It doesn't change fucking dick. Nobody's going to remember the History Channel special about remembering 9-11 in 30,000 years. They're going to remember this fucking video and every single fucking name that I've dropped in these fucking videos. So if you want to die in filthy fucking shame, go for it. Treason and treason is fucking public execution. But hey... <laughs> That's what Americans do. They just kill a bunch of fucking people and walk the fuck away and say, not my fucking problem. 
I just want my money and I want the fuck out of this third world fucking country. And again, I'm so done. If you were lying about history to any, if posting on Twitter, posting on LinkedIn, Ted Cruz saying, remembering 9-11. If you lie about history because you're, again, just keep committing more crimes. That's how we, that's how slavery works. If you just keep committing more fucking crimes, then you never have to take responsibility for your actions. Just like the Dunes, just like the Maloney's, just like the De Caesars, just like the Lamberts, just like the Hoffmans, just like the Trezolines, just like the O'Connells, just like the McClary's, just like everybody else in the St. Paul, Columbus, Ohio community that doesn't raise their kids because they don't know how to behave. Do not lie about history. Nothing will fucking change that. And now let's get into more of these wonderful stories. But again, I'm sure half of the talking points will be other people just killing people because, well... And then, and then we look at, at the grander scale, and you, you literally think heads of state sitting on their in their back patios uh, when they've never had to work a day in their life. They don't, you don't think they, they don't they didn't get their values from the same society? They didn't say, oh well, what are we gonna do? In the same way, a gang member says, oh, what are we gonna do? And then everybody in the room knows, let's go kill that guy. And then, oh well, and we have in limited resources, literally nobody can know about it, and we could, we could still be president. Yep, that's totally impossible. And then we have a building falling down on record without any air resistance. Physically impossible. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. If there's anything under something, it's going to cause air resistance or some sort of resistance of movement. Path of least resistance. Dust. Free fall. Only possibility. So, yep, 12, 12 Saudis, absolutely. Yep, those 12 terrorists. How'd they get armed? How did those bombs? Oh, yeah, again, there's all, still no bombs. Again, we're still going with, they just fell down. They just, boop. Oh, NXT founded the, uh, founded the base. Oh, we're just going to clean this shit up real quick. No, no, no thorough investigation. The biggest terrorist attack on American soil. Let's just not do a thorough investigation. It's just too, it's just too grave, grave of a sin. We can't, we can't look at the consequences of our actions. Oh, well, Hillary Clinton, George Bush, they're all like, yeah, yeah. Sorry for those 3,000 Americans. I really just wish you fucking trash would have got fucking more. Honestly. Just, just kids should get like, I mean, 330 million-ish in this uh, uh, country. Shit, go for 300 million. Fuck these fat fucking animals. I hate Americans so much. I hate humanity so much. I'm not a part of the group. People kicked me the fuck out, and I am out. So yeah, fuck, fuck all the dead people. Fuck the dead Americans. Fuck the liars lying about it today. And if you lie about history, you, 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 you have sown yourself into shame for eternity for real. And you're just so privileged and pathetic. You don't know what the fuck's going on. So bring it. Fuck you. Kill me. I hate it. I'm not living. 0% suicidal. Never have been. I have been tortured by an entirety of human beings. Everybody. Nobody knows how to behave. Oh, okay, here, first talking points of murder. Nice. Memphis woman is abducted and killed. Heir to a billionaire estate. Eliza Fletcher. She was 34 female. Jogging around Memphis. You know, going for a jog. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes a felon. Picks her up. Probably rapes her. Kills her. Uh-oh. That was a good good, good use of an ape. Not not the woman. The, the, the released monkey from prison. Oh, yep. Yeah, Memphis is doing pretty good. We had Memphis Teen goes on a shooting rampage while live streaming. I think there was four to five killed, four to five injured. Again, are, are, do you have access to, as, a, as the most prolific journalist ever, most prolific scientist ever, most prolific commentator ever, do I have access to any, anything to report on? Ah, fuck no. Fuck no. Because it's bad, bad, scary thing. We'll murder our own citizens, but we can't watch because we're so pathetic. We just want to eat our cheese sandwich and watch the Gilmore Girls. I just want to have a good meal and a good show and just hang out because I'm so pathetic and I don't want to be offended at any point in my day. I can't look at the reality. So I saw a little bit of the whatever he live streamed. My God, these dumb animals should just be put down. Again, obviously it's not practical. But again, he's like, it's like, on oh God, on oh God, out here killing shit. On oh God, on oh God, oh, for real, dog, I'm going to show you this shit. And goes into like an auto zone and just blows a dude away. My God, torture those people. The, the, the social expectation, if you do that, you're going to be dismembered publicly. That needs to be what happens. Not, you, you should not have a, an inkling, an inclination that you're going to be taken into custody. You're going to be tortured on the fucking spot and dismembered. That should, that should be the, the pure expectation. If you're going to go mass shooting, you are going to be publicly executed. But nope, nope, no, we don't like bad things. We don't like killing. Every, every life matters except for those 3,000 Americans we murdered. <laughs> yeah, and now, now the American populace, we have, it's such a grave sin, we can't, we can't say the truth. Our government could kill us, even though they dismembered every fucking country, government, that they didn't like in every continent ever? They would never do such a thing. American flag, George Bush, George Washington, our great country. Of fat, disgusting fucking animals, man. Disgusting fucking animals. I improved my weed whacking skills. 
got back out on the, you know, I've mowed lawns to, you know, at my parents' house for years. Haven't mowed lawns since being in apartments, back on the landscaping game. Uh, they had proved my weed whacking skills. So, like, actually, I like doing yard work. I mean, it's, they got to have a small yard, so it's not like a lot of work to, to mow and to trim. It's maybe 45 minutes. But it's mechanical. You get to use some heavy machinery. Hopefully, it don't chop off my toes or my fingers. Because, again, I'm not a musician. I'll never have an actual career. I'm just supposed to suffer so that people don't have to fucking acknowledge history is true. And so, hopefully, I don't cut off any fingers. But I, I, I like working with heavy equipment, being outside. So, I, 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 I got some... Uh, some weed whacking or uh, uh, wire string string theory oh string theory there it is again <laughs> but I did better on weed whacking round two I bought a Mac desktop 24 inch 512 gigabyte reacting to computer specifications I'm gonna pull this up as a physicist um, move on until again obviously didn't have this shit pulled up but um it just again clear clear examples of, of not knowing, not knowing what the fuck the specs are supposed to mean. To me, a computer is memory and data transfer. The graphics card, the Intor core processors, 3.9. How much data can you be stored and how fast can you transfer that data? That to me is computer. And so, I just want to, just want to, just want to get to the official site. I like, I like the Mac. I've never had a Mac product before, mainly because of price points. Um, but. Again, I, I'm still, I'm still, I still, again, I have good money. I have owed it, infinite fucking money. I have never lived out of the poverty mindset ever. I buy the generic shit at the, at the like, again, think when I go out to, I don't go out to restaurants, but when I, if I, if I were to ever venture out to go out to a restaurant again, things over like $20 actually aren't on the menu. There's, there's not. So, again, but why, why didn't I have this shit pulled up? Where are the fucking specs? Where are the fucking specs for iMac tech specs? Yeah, 24-inch Retina display, okay, resolution, got it. Apple M1 chip, 8-core CPU and up to 8-core GPU. Central processing unit, general processing unit, 8 cores. The core, the core theory, Sean, are we doing Prof Carroll? The electrons, the, the neutrons, the protons, how about the selectrons? The neutrinos, the solitrinos, the Gorgon Hypochukatrinos. But what's a core? Data, is it storing data or is it transferring data? That's, that's to me, that's still the entirety of what a computer is. So what's a core? Eight cores, 69 cores, three, 420 cores? How fast, can you, how fast can those cores transfer some data? 16 gigabytes unified memory. Ah, uh, me there's memory, I know that was 16 gigabytes, I know what that is, that's data. Unified memory. So is that not in the CPU, GPU, hard drive, random access memory? What type of memory is unified memory? Well, I don't know. 1080p FaceTime camera, sweet, resolution. Magic Touch keyboard with Touch ID, nice. Up to two terabytes storage, nice. So like it, yeah, but oh, here it goes. The, the M1 chip versus the, it just, it just says, it lists the same chip twice, I don't, that's kind of strange. The M1 chip, four eight core CPU with four performance cores and four efficiency cores, seven core GPU, 16 core net neural engine, Nigga what? My nigga what? How much data you got? How fast can you transfer that shit? How, how, how much resolution be on the screen, my nigga? The fuck? Computer science, baby. Oh, found some throwback lifting and dancing videos. Uh, I might splice together some dancing. Again, I'm not too good with rhythm. Can't sing, can't play music at all. But I, I posted my, uh, my, my lifting videos that I found. They were just random files on my computer. I'm running out of memory on my uh, laptop. Um, I wanted the Mac to, to, to convert the videos, hopefully get less uh, crashes, we'll just see. But um, the, yeah, the lifting videos, the 380 bench press fail and the 500 pound pa squat, and maybe splice together some dancing videos. I do miss dancing. I just, Dane Cook, I just want to freaking dance. Recently watched, watched him on Impulsive. I just kept thinking, my dick feels like corn. And I would never have the opportunity to say that because I've never had sex before. So, what do you say just during sex? I don't know, I don't have any, so. It's pretty fun stuff. As my business partner clearly knows what's to do, and we're selling fifty thousand dollars this month, and now, now we need more money. And nope, if I lose money, I lose money. Again, my mother, dearest, wanted me to make an investment because she wanted me to spend some Bitcoin, so I made an investment because I still have no way to access society, and it's probably gonna go to zero. So whatever, it's fucking whatever. 
hopefully maybe negotiate. I think the, the alcohol, I think the deal's done this year, like I think like a three and a half year contract. So I, I touched base with them recently. But again, I can't value my legal, can't value my marketing, can't value my influencing, which again, I guarantee my partners will look over, we get 44 YouTube subscribers and be like, yeah, okay, it's worth nothing. But again, it's because global governments can't admit aliens are fucking everywhere. Oh yeah, NASA, NASA just said in the same day we're lying about blowing up our own citizens. Na or the Navy says they can't release more UFO videos because they have individuals, they have they, they have skeletons, they have they have ultra high definition super tracking technology, and it just well we can't change. We're going to continue to kill people, do nothing, say what do we do, stagnate, kill a bunch of people, and say not our responsibility, and throw a memorial a couple of years later. So human beings are disgusting, disgusting, fucking trash. So the dragster to permanently close at Cedar Point. It's the second tallest in the world. Been on it many a time. I think a metal piece flew off and hit somebody in the head, so they're closing it. I don't know if that's the exact reason, but it's just an old old coaster. But it's up. It's pretty fun stuff. But uh, sweet Cedar Point. But again, you have to like friends, like a girlfriend, like go do stuff. I was talking about my mom and my dad eating lunch yesterday. So I just have no motivation to do anything. Not like I'm depressed. It's like my house is in order, my finances are in order. I have no friends. Like I have no socialization. And people have been fitting into society their whole lives. And I've never had friends. Like when I was younger, I wasn't out of the group, but I certainly wasn't in the group. And, and, and now that I'm completely out of all social functioning, what's so fucking ever, all I want to do is start a career and leave. Well, it's just, again, there's no motivation to go like, like my mom's talking about like wanting to go skydiving. I don't want to go do anything. Like it's, it's not because I don't, not because I don't have interest, not because I'm depressed. It's just, it's just no, I want friends. I want a fucking girlfriend. I want to fucking fit into society. And the answer is fucking no. Oh, Lex Friedman had a great dinner with Joe Rogan watching some fights. There's nothing left for me to do. I can podcast, I can read non I can read fiction books, but again, I can't read nonfiction. There's nothing, I just instantly start doing funerals, instantly. I've been doing this for six, going on seven years. Every dead American, fuck you. Every dead police officer, fuck you. Fuck your families, do not lie about history, I will sue them as well. Oh, you want to provide for your family, but then don't lie about history, I'm going to sue them. And I don't give a fuck about anybody. People kick me the fuck out of society, I don't give a fuck about anybody. Barack and Michelle Obama have portraits unveiled at the White House. Oh, great service, Melania and Bar uh, what's, what's Barack. I'm just calling him Barack. Barack Obama. What a great service to our fucking country. Fuck your stupid fucking kids. Are they in possession of uh, intellectual property? Have they watched something that I've done? Yes, sued. So, I just, I just love the pompousness of it. Uh, We'll talk about the queen passed along. Oh my gosh, what's ever going to happen with a 96-year-old lady? We, we, we didn't expect this outcome. My nigga, what? Who expects to live to 96? What do you, what do you think 96-year-olds are doing? They're getting ready to die. The fuck? God. But yeah, her great service. They served for four years. They get paid money. They have secret service. Everything is paid for. They have the sentiment of the species. They respect dignity. They can do stuff. And then I read everyone's textbooks under the most profound duress ever as I get fucking disrespected every single fucking day of my fucking life. So, Barack and Michelle Obama, how's, what's your dumb kid's name, your dumb ape kid's name? Is it Melania? No, that's Trump's wife. Uh, I don't know. Whatever the fuck your stupid daughter's her name. Sue for theft of intellectual property and fuck your fucking family, Obamas. And Bushes and just fuck politics. Every single fucking person to any capacity aware of my fucking work. We have a fucking enemy in this life and the next. Garen fucking did. Uh, off duty California sheriff's deputy in custody after allegedly killing a couple with a service weapon. Devin Williams Jr., 24 male. Uh, some personal connection, not sure what. Wasn't much on the thing. That's a great service members. Yeah, our government definitely want to kill anybody. Our police officers definitely want to kill anybody, except like every single fucking day. With the service weapon. What a great criminal. <laughs> Good job, Devin Williams Jr. Yes, protect and serve. Pow, 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 pow. Fucking cunt. So that's good. We have King Charles. Oh, wait, we have Queen Elizabeth is under medical supervision. All the children come to town. Is comfortable. Another great, I've written this down as it happened. But again, classic. Another, another, another perfect example of context defines a variable. How do we talk about death? We can't. Make sure they're comfortable. That phrase is what everybody heard when they said the word, the queen is comfortable. Make sure they're comfortable. Death. That, that's what it meant. 
And that stamps were buzzed on all of the news stations, all the Buckingham Palace says, comfortable, oh, make her comfortable, oh. No club systems, what do we say? Make her comfortable. And then she dies, oh. And again, the news is like, whatever could happen to a 96 year old? Yep, they're, they're getting on to dying. So we have Liz Trust to succeed Boris Johnson. Wilfred Frost reappears on CNBC. He's now working for Sky News. It's a great name, Wilfred. What a classic fucking name, Wilfred. It's like Will and Fred, but like Wilfred. So glad to see Wilfred back on CNBC. The Liz Truss, the first thing we need to do as a new Prime Minister of England, rename Leicester City. We just, we, I, don't, I don't care, you have to tell me how to spell things. Leicester City, we need, to, we need to just drop the C, we need to move a diphthong around, um, um, the, the petition, the parliament, and then King Charles III, Leicester City, what the fuck is that shit? Still, even after talking to the dude from probably Interpol that likes Arsenal, which they got ruined out by Man, uh, Manchester United, I believe. <laughs> oh, fuck Arsenal. I, 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 don't, I watch Premier League soccer, I don't have a team, I just like fucking games. Like, I watch some of the US Open, I just like, I can watch pretty much any I, I do like watching pretty much any sport game that's like close competition. So, but I don't have like a, don't have like a favorite team of any sport. Oh, um, but yeah, we need to do something with Le uh, Leicester City. Just the name, the pronunciation or something. Just something throws me off about that shit. King Charles pledges, oh, our, our, we are succeeded by the young man, I think he's 76. So he's also, he's gonna, I think, uh, this is like 70 years for, uh, what the fuck was the bitch's name? Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, what did she do in her life? She served honorably. No, she covered up UFOs. She covered up uh, medical being, uh, or the, the imperialization of, of, of England. She, uh, what else did the fuck did she do? Oh yeah, she lied about science for the past six going on seven years, endangering her entire populace. So again, walk blindly, you stupid fucking Brits. As Americans walk blindly today, and with jet fuel can't melt steel beams. But hey. Kill a bunch of people, lie, say not my responsibility, and then uphold the pompous nature of the of the of the throne, of the crown. All hail King Charles. I teach all of your kids. And don't hail me. Go die. Like go fucking die. <laughs> it's just so fun. You know, the the Obamas, they're they're carting around Lizzie's old dead body. And I literally teach everyone's kids, and people are just so pathetically fucking privileged. They don't think that's occurring, or they just don't again, they don't feel responsibility for their actions. They just don't. You slow, me, you slow me down, you slow down the progress of this species forever. And it's what's, what's going on, and that's what your legacy is. So rest in piss, Lizzie. Go, go, go talk with uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg about who is, the better, who is the better fucking criminal at law. Have a nice day. I'll make sure I'm still rolling. Uh, yeah, so, uh, reviewing BS with Jake Paul, Julia and D-Cut. So I've been watching, they just did uh, episode five. I thought episode five was much better than the first four. Um, Jake does acknowledge, he's like talking about ripping on both his co-hosts and I believe his girlfriend as well, Julia, and D-Cut, his business partner, friend, I'm assuming, and his co-host. But I did agree the, the first couple episodes were rather slow, but getting going. But again, I think the real edge that you have to focus in on Jake is, is the actual sports show. Like episode five, you had some good segments. It was like four or five rounds, with a little bit of comedy at the end. Way, way better structure in the fifth episode. And it just conversation is, is, is about the whole, the whole people, not just the co-hosts. So I don't, I don't think Julia or D-Cut were necessarily off-putting. The conversation definitely stalled at several points. Like the episode with Rick Ross and like Tyree Hill is an actual football player. Like, I thought it would be way better if you, you had like somebody. Again, I, don't, I don't know if like the NFL players would like actually like, want to like do competitions. I like, could get them injured or something. But like they had like you know D cut versus the Tyreek Hill race. If you guys actually would have like done that or had that scheduled or something, but again segments like an actual sports show. I think the angle with your personality, persona, and social media influencing and being a boxer, undefeated boxer. Good luck with Anderson Silva, the Spider. <laughs> but but actual like segments like like a sports show like around the horn or Sports Center, but just like actual segments. And I thought episode five was much better. In episode five, there was still some dry. Um, again, it just I think getting away. I certainly think you could have some success as just a podcaster, but there's so many fucking podcasts out there. I think your biggest leverage is to use your social media influence and actually having a, a better edge at a sports show where Stephen A. Smith is not going to say fuck a bunch on, on, on ESPN. So, and again, sports is obviously trash talking for fuck's sake. So I think there's a, there's a real avenue for, again, athletes actually competing in the, or talking the way they actually talk literally in the fucking game. 
<laughs> as opposed to being real polite society with our great burial of Queen Elizabeth and King Charles. Oh, I didn't. I forgot to say the uh, King Charles. He, 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 he no, the young man had a, a very, very literate statement. He says, and I quote, it was, it was another buzzword, again, word salad, on, it was a title on Fox News or CNN or wherever. It says, King Charles pledges what remains to me of my life to the monarchy. What? Uh, what remains of my life to the monarchy? Why, why do we have to throw in a to me there? The King Charles III? What remain, King Charles pledges what remains to me of my life to the monarchy. See how, see how, like, you guys know I exist, and then you just try to use words, and you start fucking up all the prepositions, and you sound fucking retarded? Like, stop. Don't say things you don't know. Just because I exist doesn't make, make you gonna start doing scientific research. It's not, it's not going to occur. Good God, man. But yeah, so that's what, that's what the, back to the Jake Paul, and I think Julia's rather pretty, but why what's up with the lip fillers, lady? Why? It doesn't look good. It does not look good. Why? Or dudes, Jeffree Star, why getting lip fillers, bro? I actually thought he was pretty fucking funny on Impulsive. I thought Jeffree Star was a pretty fucking entertaining dude, or lady, or dude, <laughs> but <laughs> persona. Um, but like they, they had, on the BS, they had the Hater Hotline. I thought that was fucking funny. And so they just had some dude, I think the dude was named Norris, just calling him, just like trash talking. So I thought that was a good, um, a good segment. But definitely, I think if, if you use your social media influence and presence and then really have a structured um, uh, sports show and you have better dialogue or better flow throughout the thing, I think you, I could think it, it would do really well. Still have no idea about better. Again, I just don't know if people can bet on micro betting on other apps or whatnot. So I just want to give you an update because I've been watching the, watching the show. Um, Logan, I do believe Logan Paul was at OU the same time as my brother. My brother went to Ohio University. When I was Googling Logan Paul one day, I saw video from 2013. I graduated high school and so wait a second. If how the fuck is Logan Paul Logan Paul's two years younger than me. And so how the fuck would he be in at OU? Because uh, there was a video with 2013 about OU. Maybe he was recruiting there or like looking there. But that just I don't know, maybe graduated high school or I don't know. But if Logan Paul was at OU in 2013, my brother I believe was there in 2013 as well. I don't know, just a small world. Um, my, I keep getting these scam texts and calls and my PayPal account is not actually hacked. Shocker. When you get a text message from pay, P-A-Y four zero six Z nine eight six nine four twenty P-A-L dot Amazon extended number that's actually not PayPal's uh, service department, believe it or not. So, so charge my Netflix charged up or charged through PayPal and it was not hacked. So I've been getting a lot of those, those, click on this link and we're going to definitely steal all of your shit. So that's good. But oh yeah, I found the chart of the most regretted, regretted college majors and chart. And so I just wanted to go through this. And this chart says, those who wish they'd chosen a different field of study as a share of all who majored in each subject. And so you have humanities and arts. At 50% of people said they wish they would have chosen a different field of study. And so the, low, the highest is humanities and arts, then social and behavioral sciences, vocational and technical training, education, business management, law, life sciences, health, physical sciences, and math, computer and information sciences, and engineering at the least. And that is at over 20%. So what I take out of all of this is you don't need to go to college to get skill sets. If 20% of every single category is regretting a college degree, I'm sure this chart is supposed to be like, look at all those people in STEM that didn't regret their fucking degrees. 20% is still exceedingly high, and physics, math, computer science, STEM minus engineering is all above 30%. So yeah, it sounds like everyone fucking hates college, it's a waste of fucking time. It's a bunch of insecure fucking cunts trying to teach you nothing when learning is independent. So, that's what I took out of this chart, not that humanities and arts are bad, and engineering and STEM good. Yeah, I tried to go to school once. <laughs> wow, that really worked out well. STEM, baby. STEM, stemming it up. Sweet. So yeah, that's what I took from that is like everyone regrets their decisions because you don't need to go to school to learn skills. Intel to break ground in Ohio for the headquarters. Just wanted to give a shout out to all of the people at uh, at Intel, the the big marketers, all those kids raising raising families. 
going to school stealing from me, lying about my research in every classroom in this fu on this fucking planet. All of them. Toto. Nigga. But hey, don't even pay rent, don't give them a time frame. I wouldn't have bought this house. I would be traveling literally right now today, living on $100,000 a year, if they would have said, hey Brad, we, we might publish your shit in five fucking years. I can't do anything because I don't have a time frame. Travel, more investments, anything. I just sit here. Just moving along, scooting through life by all the pathetic fucks who literally never behave, ever. Just get privileges after privileges after privileges after privileges. Sweet. So Intel, just fuck, fuck your business. I'm suing you guys as well. You come to a fucking Ohio while I'm here. You disrespect me in any fucking way. I'm going to take your entire fucking company. Speaking of which, announcing, officially announcing another lawsuit. I'm suing uh, uh, Casto, Casto Properties for violating my Fourth Amendment right of unreasonable searches and seizures when I first moved into your apartment. Additionally, I told you the story about your maintenance man um, literally physically intimidating and trying, trying to intimidate me, it didn't go so well, but uh, trying to intimidate me for calling him broke because he called me drunk because I wasn't because he didn't want to do his job. And again, after getting told you the story of sprinting, sprinting, being out of breath, and the guy's like, you're drunk, but no, I just, just booked a fucking four, four minute mile in the fucking rain with my headphones trying to not to lose 1200 bucks of electronics. So, but then I get my security deposit back. And it's, it was three hundred fifty dollars security deposit. I gave a fund of two seventy five, and I cleaned my shit, minus the toilet. But they sent me pictures, and it says damages charged to resident two commode deep clean labor ten dollars each shower deep clean labor thirty five deep clean the shower each shower. Fun fact: HQ Flats. Not a single time did I shower in the second bathroom. Not once. So they said it was passed. Um, past normal wear and tear, right? That's what they charge for is damages past normal wear and tear. If you take HQ flats, you take one of these toilets. Each, the toilet that I used was only in the main bathroom and had one of those uh, bleach tablets in the back of it. And if you, with that, even with that, I don't, I don't know if it was, that was super up to date, like if I had a fresh one in there, but you should be able to test if there was bleach in, in the water. But additionally, if you, if you use these toilets in a normal fashion for two weeks, you'll have a slight phlegm build up around the end around the edge. You take a to toilet brush clean, it takes 10 seconds to clean that up. Now, I thought that was normal wear and tear because if you nor use the thing normally, that's what, it, that's what the, the wear and tear looks like. So I just didn't scratch that up. 75 bucks, don't give a fuck about it, it's the principle. And I get this email back from this dumb cunt, my God. I just, when people try to assert authority over me, and I said, literally all I said is, can your legal team send me examples of what qualifies as normal wear and tear? Thanks, Brad. And another dumb bitch, Kristen Amberst, you are being sued, Afternoon, Brad. The apartment is to be returned to management in the condition in which it was received, free of damages, less than normal wear and tear. Again, use sentences. Try to spell sentences better, you stupid cunt. A Kristen Am Arm Burst. A R M B R U S T. Please get this fucking bitch the fuck out of society. Stains, cleaning issues, rips, tears, and holes, etc. And the carpet. In, in the carpeting is not considered normal wear and tear, and the cost associated with restoring the unit is responsible. Residents' responsibility. Please find attached pictures of the toilet and tub that most certainly exceeded the normal wear and tear. Says Kristen Ambers, most certainly. I used it in the normal fashion. And it has this phlegm every two weeks, literally. Literally. So what's, what's more normal? Do you, guys, do you guys deep clean your toilets every day? I think every two weeks every month is a f fair time for a single male to clean their apartment or their building. So, but again, it's a racket. They, they sick their dog, Michael Jameson, who was absolutely getting the fuck out of society. William Willis, cast their properties, uh, champion properties. I'm going to take the whole company down. Five billion, ten billion dollars of property. Fuck you, slumlords. Fuck you, trash. So yeah, it most certainly exceeded. It says you. But it's a racket. I don't have access to court. I would have already sued these people. Every person I've said I would sue would have already been sued if I had access to court. If people weren't murdering their own citizens. If Navy wasn't covering up scientific discoveries that I fucking make. But hey. So, yeah, <laughs> fuck, fuck you, Kristen, arm, burp, bruce. I'm sure you're a dumb fucking cunt that has a suck dick to pay your fucking bills. Normal wear and tear. And I just responded. I responded, uh, didn't exceed normal wear and tear. No worries. Keep the 75 bucks. I'll take another in 70, 750 million. Thanks for the response. But guess what the fun fact is? I asked for pictures of what normal wear and tear looks like for comparison. So can Kristen Amberst get offended and not just initially defend, defend, defend her group? Or can she read? I asked 
my initial email, can your legal team send me examples of what qualifies as normal wear and tear? Nah, I'm just gonna say it's cert obviously, <laughs> obviously like a frat girl flicking her pussy, jiggling her tits at the club looking to spur a frat boy to fuck. Obviously I'm the baddest bitch in the club. <laughs> I asked for pictures of what you guys consider normal wear and tear, and you just said fuck off, so. Oh, cool. You, you guys are, I'm already suing you, but it's just fucking hilarious. We give shout out to Michael Mayhew for being just trash. Slut lords. You guys are slut lords. You're not entrepreneurs, you're not innovators, you just own buildings, and so do I. Fuck you and fuck your kids. <laughs> so that was good stuff. Um, uh, another, 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 another person still in my property trying to form sentences, our great vice president, Kamala Harris. Today, the business of our work is for the council to report on the work that has occurred since the la our last meeting across these areas. Try to try to condense that. Um, going back to edit a peer review paper and edit back in seventh grade. Today, the business of our work is for the council to report on the work. So today, we're reporting on our work that has occurred. Here's our progress in these areas. There you go, VP. We don't need a bunch of drawn out sentences for our illiterate, illiterate fucking constituents to sit there and float off into space in their own heads like, wow, that sounds so good. Sweet. <laughs> Oberlin College will pay $36.6 million to a bakery, the school falsely accused of racism in 2016. I didn't see the actual accusation, but it was just the dollar figure, and to me it's a slander. So whatever the, whatever the slander is, slander, bad thing. Again, I, as I'm sitting here, Again, literally, I own a restaurant that's asking me for more money. I could, I could provide them free marketing if I was published. I could provide them free advertising if I was published. I could blow this shit up in 10,000 ways if I was published to any capacity at all. If I was allowed to give lectures or allowed to socialize. Like Lex Friedman having a nice dinner with Joe Rogan at the fight. While well, I'm over here trying to slum up a fucking enough money to pay my fucking goddamn fucking bills. Comfortably and regularly. That's it. But yeah, so if you slander my name... Or if you slander one bakery that didn't go out of business, they're still doing stuff, you get $37 million-ish. If you, so you can be, see, that's the key of crime. You have to keep committing crime so it never becomes known, and then it just goes away. And that's what my life is in real life. That's what the fuck I am. I am a fucking slave. And so, yeah, so all those people that slandered my name, remember, the bakery's still open. I have, I, have, I have never lived above the poverty level. I never get treated with respect. I never get treated with decency, honor, Anything, just just basic fucking human dignity is impossible. I don't fit in. I don't get to do the stuff that other people do. So yeah, Oberlin College will pay thirty six point six million dollars to the bakery, and then they'll go right back to the boardroom and distribute my property. Gotcha. Oh sweet, fuck Brad. Everybody, everybody involved in this dies in fucking filth. All of you, older than the age of twelve, die in fucking shame. Your legacies are apes, dirty, nasty, retarded animals. They can't put, they can't teach their own kids, and you can't think. Good job. Go, go, come, big cummies. <laughs> Fucking garbage. Netflix, last talking point. Netflix to move away from whole season releases. Uh, as a consumer, I'm not gonna like that. As a business model, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Just, I don't know. We'll see. But even if like old stuff, like shows that are out years ago, uh, maybe. I mean, that would, I, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. But yeah, I just definitely wanted to announce another lawsuit. So, Kristen Armburst. And again, these are probably actual fucking lawyers. I am a lawyer. I am a fucking lawyer defrauded out of my licensure because of more crime. They murder their own citizens. They lie about fucking aliens, and then they tell you they're redacting stuff. And again, I can live stream fucking aliens. I'm in direct contact. <laughs> he knows. Oh, yes, I do. And it's not what you guys know. So, hey. Remember, keep snuffing out. This is the most profound discovery in human history. I'm going to shut up your asshole so fucking far it's going to come out of your fucking mouth. You're going to fucking die for it. So hey, keep committing treason. Keep killing your own citizens. Keep lying. Again, seriously, don't legalize cannabis. Kill off more fucking people. Not inciting violence in any fucking way. Before and after, I'll say the statement. Not inciting violence at all. But die the fuck off. Don't legalize cannabis. More of your kids will die. More of your parents will die. More of your friends will fucking die. And then there's less animals. And an objective biological standpoint, the faster people learn to behave, the less overall damage will be done. And people are too privileged that they don't change. I have never met someone capable of moral behavior. Worse than that, I've never met someone capable of changing to anything. Americans die in shame. You're lying about fucking history. Every single person posting about it publicly is sued to the fullest extent of the law. I don't want your money. I want you to have society in the same way you've fucking ruined my fucking life. So yep, on to year 29. I have never felt safe. I have never had fun. I've not felt excitement. I have no hope. 
I am 0% depressed. I am 0% sad. I have no ability to socialize. I am being tortured. My name is Brad Bose. I'm being profoundly and extensively tortured. There is nothing I can do. There is nowhere I can go. And there is no one I can call. I'm going to be tortured until I'm fucking dead. So that's it for Jet Fuel doesn't melt steel beams because it doesn't, and fuck all the dead Americans. Um, I'll do a poker video. I did get my editing software how to record the screen and yourself at the same time. You just click a button, so it wasn't too complicated. But I'll do, I'll do a poker strategy. Typically for poker, I like to watch shows as I'm doing it. Typically I'm watching a show and poker's in the background. But for poker videos, I can't have something in the background that's going to give me copyrighted or just the, the audio is going to be super off-putting. So the poker videos are going to be longer because it's going to be a whole tournament, I don't know, probably an hour. But I'll be doing that probably probably tomorrow, maybe even today. So poker videos will be coming. Um, and I wish I was dead. Again, as a statement, uh, as a normal, healthy human being, I would like to live. But I can't. There, there's no practical action that can come out of my body and no words can come out of my mouth to change anything. People are just going to lie, steal, kill a bunch of people, deny, 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 and say, well, at least I'm in the group. So, <laughs> every, everybody who isn't me, and again, this is the basis of human history for real, these videos. So, fuck you, fuck them. Everybody in the future, everybody that I've referenced deserves nothing but disrespect and shame for eternity. Fuck them. Thanks for watching.